All right, so uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about this is a tire trough. And of course, here again, this is <laughs> if we were going to permanently do a spring development, this is something we would put on it for stock water. It also acts for, for this situation as an emergency place to pump water out of. This is collecting the excess water that's already passed through a storage tank that has a pump in it. Now we also have another reservoir. If we need to pump water out of, we can pump it out of here. But basically the water comes from the storage tank up above, comes into this stock tank. The overflow is in the middle of the, the tire where the bead or the rim used to be. It comes in and then the overflow pipe carries the water back out again. Um, from the video, you probably see that the water level is lower than the top of the four inch pipe. That's because this spring uh, in very wet times flows way too much water and it will overtop the tire. So they've got the overflow cut down in a moon shape on this side so that it will take in all the water when we get those heavy, heavy spring rains. Um, but basically we're going to go down the hill and show the outflow of this tank and how to collect that outflow. And the reason we may want to do this, we may have maybe pumping or we may not have a pumping platform in the spring, but we have a stock tank and at night when the livestock aren't drinking, the water is flowing out of the trough. Um, several, many, many, many farmers have spring developments, have troughs. Yes, the cattle are drinking most of the water during the day, but at night when they're not drinking, they're getting some outflow. And if they need some extra water, we need to have an additional storage maybe to store the water. Then again, put a pump in it, pump out of that additional storage and bring it back up either to this stock tank or to a truck or a trailer to be able to haul water to our other livestock in another place. So this, this spring has a four inch outlet and, and typically that's what I've designed over the last 20 years is what we were designing prior to that. Some springs would have a, a smaller uh, diameter pipe coming out of the stock tank, whether it be a concrete or a tire trough. But you can see we've got a really good flow coming out of that. So we're losing two gallons a minute here at night when, when the livestock aren't drinking. If we've got other stock somewhere that need other water, we're letting that go on down the creek. Um, so what we would do here uh, in this situation, if we wanted to collect this water, we would get what they call a fern co fitting and put over the edge of this pipe and neck that down to an inch and a quarter or an in inch pipe. And we've got the fittings. We'll show you all that here in another video, but we would neck it all down to a, a, a polyethylene type pipe and run it down over this bank to a storage tank down there. And those can be the simple um, tote tanks that we've got. You can buy a truck tank to sit down there, or any kind of storage, a Rubbermaid trough even, that would fit down there. We just wouldn't want to water the livestock out of that, but at least it would be some additional water that we could use uh, for other sources or, or in other times. And maybe this spring doesn't keep up with your livestock during the day, but if we collected all the night water and put it back, we would have enough water to keep the livestock.